today list comprehensions with multiple if statements. So we'll get right into it. Um, we have a list called nums and we can create a list comprehension like i for i in nums. And most people know that you can add one if statement to the right side of this list comprehension and do something like if i greater than one, um, if i greater than two, and you know, we're returning everything greater than two. Um, but did you know that you could have multiple if statements here? So we could do, do another one and say if i does not equal three. So we have two if statements and we're getting everything greater than one and everything that's not equal to three. And you might be thinking, okay, but why is there two ifs? Couldn't you just do and here? And you could, but they're slightly different. So that's some of the themes we're gonna explore in this video today. And before we get too ahead of ourselves, um, I just wanted to take a step back and show you guys something. So first we're gonna look at the documentation of when list comprehensions were first added into the Python language back in the year 2000. So if you're watching this in 2020 when this video was filmed, um, we've had list comprehensions in the language for 20 years and people have been doing multiple if statements for 20 years. And even in this PEP, um, in the limited examples they have available, I wanted to show you guys that we do even have examples of multiple for loops and multiple if statements in a one-liner. So there's obviously precedent for it. People are doing multiple for loops, multiple if statements all the time. And um, yeah, we're gonna crack into that in this video. So let's start at the basics and build this up one step at a time. So let's say I had my, um, my one if statement here, right? So what would this look like in a normal for loop? So it would look something like for i in nums, print i. So that would be the traditional list comprehension. And then we actually took a next step and we said if i greater than two, print i. Okay, so this um, list comprehension right here is the equivalent of this for loop with this if statement. And now, next step, let's say we had these, um, these two if statements here, right? So we're gonna look at both things here. We're gonna look at the double if, and we're gonna look at the and. And so, can, do you know the difference off the bat? Can you tell how these are different? Um, so the first one for i and num, so our double if, would actually look staggered in this example. So it would be if i greater than one, and then it would be if i does not equal three, print i. Okay, so this is the equivalent of our first one here. So just know that if you're gonna do two if statements side by side, if and if, it's, it's the same thing as if they were um, nested and had an extra level of uh, spacing. And then this second one here, this and, you probably know the answer already, which is that that would look something like this. It would look like a one-liner if i greater than one and i does not equal three, and then we can print that out. And so in this case, you know, we're returning two and four. They're kind of, you know, the output is equivalent. But of course, now that you see the distinction between having it on one line versus having it on two lines, you can see how um, as we get a little bit more complicated, that difference is gonna start to matter a little more. And so you're just gonna have to pay attention to that. So we can start building this up a little bit. And I wanna introduce a new list called fruits. And I thought that that was defined. Let me grab it. Or maybe it's called fruit. Okay, sweet, I don't even have to go grab it. So we have our fruit, um, we have our nums, and now let's get into like some, some double for loops. So let me try to bring back my um, list comprehension here, and I'll do my double list comprehension. And what we're gonna do is if it's greater than one, you know, we print out two, three, four, and then how about next, we add our fruits here. So we do for f in fruit. And you'll see that there's something else we need to do. We need to go back to the left side of this list comprehension 
and I want to just print out um, both I and F. And so we run that and you know we're getting for one what's important is our keys are numbers two through four because our um, our our filter is filtering out all those number ones so we're just getting two through four and what would this look like in a traditional for loop well it would look like for i in nums oops it would look like for i in nums um, if i greater than one for f in fruit print i f so these two things are equivalent and sorry it's hard to like keep it all um, on one screen for you guys but so this list comprehension and this for loop are the same so I think it's kind of worth you know slowing down and taking a quick look and seeing how we have a for loop and then we have an if statement and then that next for loop is actually nested after the if statement and so that's what we're printing out so if we went even a little bit more complicated and let's say we had if I is greater than one um, if I does not equal three, we can run this again and you see all of our threes are gone because we don't want the one or we want greater than one and we don't want three. So all of our keys are two and four. And so just to you know double confirm for everyone, what would that look like in a traditional for loop? Well, we start with our nums and then what would we do? We would do if I greater than one and then another nesting of the if um, if I does not equal three and then only then do we have our second for loop where we can do for F in fruit print I F okay so these two things are equivalent and you know I wish that the you know the output just kind of looked the exact same you know what I mean kind of the list of tuples versus the list here but you can see that again these are all two and four as well we filtered out less than uh, one or less than two and we filtered out three so these two statements are equivalent this I hope this is starting to make sense we have our for loop our if our if and then our for loop cool and now let's take make this even a little bit more complicated even though it's, it's still like pretty not that bad. But now let's add another if statement for the fruit. So we could say if f does not equal, um, let's say pairs, okay? So now we filtered out all of our pairs uh, from our list comprehension. And man, I don't wanna write out this whole for loop thing again, but you can, I think it's hopefully intuitive at this point that this next if statement if f does not equal pairs is going to come in right after this for loop and kind of add another um, level of tabs and actually whatever I'll just do it it won't take that long so we'll do if it does not equal one or does not equal three we have our next for loop and here we can do if uh, if f does not equal pairs then we can print out our key value of i and f sweet so we have apples peaches bananas for um, keys two and four you know six values in total and that's the same thing you're going to see here apples peaches bananas and the keys are only two and four so i know when you first look at list comprehensions off the bat and you're like okay there's two for loops there's like three if statements it's getting pretty intense but know that it's really not that bad. It's quite simple, it's quite nested and quite easy to reason about after you've kind of played around with it for a little bit. I'm trying to think what else to show you guys because it is pretty intuitive. Um, maybe the last thing I'll do is just create an and here because we haven't been doing and much. So we could do and f does not equal, does not equal, I don't know, let's say apples, okay? So this should print out just fine and we have our peaches and we have our bananas and we're gonna come back to our for loop and we're gonna run it all again, except this time we're going to uh, filter out for apples when we get to that step. So if it doesn't equal pears and um, F doesn't equal apples, 
then we can print out I and F. So we should get four results here, peaches and bananas for keys two and four, uh, the same as these two results here. So I hope that just through iterating through a couple different versions and just kind of, you know, making it a little bit more complicated over time, um, it makes sense how this for loop and this list comprehension are equivalent in terms of their output and in terms of um, the flow of iterables or iterations through things. So I think that's pretty much all I need to cover for multiple if statements with list comprehensions in Python. Um, any other questions, feel free to leave a comment, whatever you guys want to do. Other than that, thank you for watching. Certainly appreciate it.